Hi guys, Nick Miller here today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you a really nice 2012 last of the K-Series machines, S205. Same as a 185, except for the 205 was a 66 horsepower with 2,050 pound of lift. Uh, had some more counterweight in it, but this machine has just 2,879 hours. It is cab, heat, air, power bob attach, seven pin attachment control device. Um, I believe they call that an A71 pack. It had the sand ending material in the cab. Um, really nice, clean machine. All paint is originally except for the black uh, and this white right here. We did paint it. It had a set of backhoe mines on it. It had the paint skin up here. I just didn't like the way it looked. But the rest of the white is original. We did paint the wheels and the uh, black on the bottom. So nice running working machine. One owner machine. I have it. His S650 I bought from him. Uh, both machines well taken care of. The guy did keep the stuff very nice. Um, back doors good and straight, that kind of thing. So what we want to do here today, I want to take it, give you a complete 360 degree view. We we'll start run this machine show. It does everything it's supposed to do. Um, we went completely through this thing and fully serviced it. And we're going to start right back here at the engine compartment. Again, this is a 2012. So this is the last of the K series, in my opinion, the good machines. Uh, I'm not a big M series fan, but that's just me. Um, you can guys be the judge of that. So. This will have the Kubota V2607 in it. Um, these are one hell of a motor. Uh, very, very snappy. Again, 66 horsepower, four cylinder Kubota turbo diesel. Um, these are a heck of a motor and they will run and run and run and run. Um, we've done a complete service, engine oil, hydraulic. Um, both air filters, inner and outer, will be brand new. Um, we don't hide any of that. We do our service work. Uh, we're just not guys that buy something and paint it and put it on the internet and say it's good. I like to get through my stuff and I know what I have. We did have a, a EGR cooler hose here that had a, uh, basically had a little bruise on it. I know it was going to cause somebody an issue, so we put a brand new one on from Kubota. I actually ordered the right um, hose and put on. A uh, new battery, fuel filter changed uh, underneath the cab. There is a charge filter. We've changed that also. Muffler is good. Radiator cover support here is good. Antifreeze, hydraulic fill, uh, condenser for AC, um, radiator, everything there is good. There's no leaks, anything like that. There's no aftermarket welding on anything. Back door is good. Shuts good. Lights all work. Cylinders, we did reseal both of these. They were just damp. They weren't leaking, but I just, didn't, again, didn't want to cause somebody a problem. And you can see here, if you look here at the wiper ring, they're brand new. Uh, hydraulic reservoir you'll see here is completely full the way it's supposed to be. It does have four power king tall or 1016.5 tires. They're still 65%. Uh, good shape, no issues, no holes, no air leak, anything like that. Uh, we left them on, uh, you know, still got good tire on. Coming up front has a beautiful Bobcat 68 inch um, heavy duty series bucket. It actually has the severe duty bucket here in the back with the cast back, bolt on edge. You can see the edge is beautiful. Uh, very, very nice bucket. Coming up front, quick tach, not welded or busted anywhere. Uh, been through all pins and bushings. Everything there is good. It is power quick attach. Coming up here, you have uh, three port auxiliary hydraulics. Um, basically, it's a standard flow machine, but you do have a case drain. This coupler was leaking. We did replace that whole cartridge. Seven pin attachment control device. Door is in good shape. It isn't all uh, busted up or ragged out. There is a couple scratches right here on the door we'll point out, but other than that, very good. Seal is in decent shape also. Threshold plate is not rusted or rotted out. Cab is good and straight. Um, as for also the sides and the loader arms. So we'll go ahead and take you inside. Again, this machine is a uh, A71 pack, which has your sand editing material in it. Um, you can see here it's in very nice shape. It isn't all ragged out. Uh, later series, I've seen a bunch of them like this. It has a crack right there and a heater vent on both sides. Doesn't affect anything, I'm just telling you that. It does have a rear view mirror. We'll go ahead. Let's start this thing up once so you can see. Let's run through machines active warnings. No active warnings. Let's get a load of features, vitals. Gives you engine oil pressure, temperature, charge pressure, um, hydraulic oil temp, volts, engine speed. We'll exit back out of that. Gives you all your gauges. We'll take it one step further, 2879 on the hours. We'll go over here, let me push, uh, used to the G 
series. Let's go over here. No error code. Coming up here, this is a cab heat air. Air works, compressor works, thing works excellent. There is your washer and wiper. Everything there works the way it's supposed to. Um, we put new Internager cabin filters in. Look, we, we still have people to this day calling, you know, we shoot these videos and do everything we're supposed to do to show that a machine's right. And we still have people that call and say, hey, is it really the way you say it is? Well, I don't know how to be any more honest than we're being right here. So um, please, I urge you to call. If you have any questions, let us know. Power bob tatch is up here. Parking brake switch, if you want to lock it on, is there. Um, you have your auxiliary hydraulics here. Um, you have your seven pin attachment control device, which runs all the different features on the knobs here. So I'm going to turn the camera back over to Matt. Uh, we're going to go ahead and run it around here for you, show everything works. We've greased the machine completely. Everything takes grease. Um, there's no wheel leaks, anything like that. This thing is 110% ready to go to work. It's right in time for snow season. Fellas, you better pay attention because it's going to come whether we want it to or not. So we're going to go ahead and fire this machine up, run it around here for you. It is a keyless dash, which you probably see that from the video, but I forgot to mention.
guys, I hope you can see there from this video, this machine is 110% ready to go to work. That is an excellent handling running machine. It, it tracks very straight, doesn't veer. Uh, parking brakes work, quick touch works. Air is ice cold in there. I actually had to shut it off. Um, cab, heat, air, power bob touch, sand deadening pack in the, in the cab, A71, 7 pin attachment control device. 2012, last of the Kubotas. 13, you went to the new M series, like a 570 or 590. With the, with the Busan engine in them, I'm just, I don't know, I'm not impressed. I don't really care for them. I like these older uh, Ks. I think they're a hell of a machine. 205s, 185s. Uh, they got good snap, good power. Guys like them. They were well built, and they're just quite a machine. But if you have any questions on this machine, 2,279 hours, fully serviced, guaranteed to be 110% ready to go to work, right in time for snow season. There's no hidden mystery here. This isn't a piece of junk. Um, what I have it for sale for is a very, very fair uh, price in the market. Uh, don't call it lowball offers. Don't waste your time nor mine. I do appreciate everybody taking a look at our equipment. Um, if you want to come by and see it yourself in person, I have nothing to hide. But every piece of Mark Supply stuff that we put through the retail end is through a shop, serviced and ready to go to work. So please check out our website, www.marksupplyco.com. See us on Tractor House, Machinery Trader, and on eBay at Mark Supply 88. Um, if you need a freight quote, please let us know. We'll be glad to get you on. It only takes a couple minutes, and we can uh, get you figured out what it would cost to get something in your area. Again, I'm Nick Miller, 814-658-3066. This machine is owned by Mark Supply Company and located right here at 18563 Bun Mountain Road, Saxton, Pennsylvania, 16678. Again, any questions, please give me a call, 814-658-3066. As always, have a very good day, and thank you very much for checking out Mark Supply Company.